Hello, Terrell Tigers. My name is Georgie Ann Warnock, and I have the absolute pleasure of getting to serve as your superintendent of schools here in Terrell ISD. And today, it's especially my honor and privilege to welcome you to our Veterans Day celebration. Today, we honor the service of those men and women who have fought for our country, who've defended our freedoms, and who are the reason that we are able to have all that we have abundantly here in this great country. We hope that you enjoy the program today and take a minute to think about the veterans in your life and to thank them for their service. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Adam Toy, principal of Terrell High School. Well, greetings. My name is Adam Toy and I'm the proud principal at Terrell High School. Thank you for joining us for this online veterans program that our students and staff have worked very hard to put together. It is now my honor and privilege to introduce our student council president, Ms. Riley Riggin. Good morning. My name is Riley Riggin, and as president of the Terrell High School student body, I'm honored to be here today representing our Terrell High School students and staff. We have chosen to celebrate this year's Veterans Day event in a virtual format to honor our military veterans and those who are currently serving in uniform. We must continue our tradition of recognizing those who have proudly served us in our nation in the U.S. Army Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, and Marines. We'll be beginning our program today with the Armed Forces Salute. If you're watching at home in the company of family and friends, or even watching by yourself, please stand when your service song is played. Army. Navy. Coast Guard. Air Force. Marine.
Next will be a self-written essay by Molly Knapp titled, American Veterans, A Lasting Legacy. Former U.S. President John F. Kennedy once stated, As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. This quote implies that showing appreciation for these heroes in just words alone is not sufficient and that we must act to truly make an impact. Veterans Day is an extremely important day of the year as it allows us, the fellow citizens of the United States, to acknowledge those who put their lives on the line for this country. As someone who comes from a military family, I tend to have a stronger perspective on the experiences the military pr can provide. Several members of my family served in, served in the United States Air Force. My grandfather was stationed in Thailand during the Vietnam War. He worked on Air Force One, and he ended up retiring from the military after about 20 years of service. Although my dad only served for four years, it was still a portion of his life that he sacrificed for the country. Often when someone throws in a subtle, thank you for your service, my dad does not really take it as much of a compliment because of the short amount of time that he served. He never served in a war, he was stationed in Alaska. However, no matter how long you served or the occupation you held during your service, you still deserve all the gratitude in the world. Veterans need to be recognized for a multitude of reasons, including the amount of bravery and sacrifice that is required. It is hard to imagine leaving your family and loved ones back at home while you are transported to a foreign area to, left to fight for your country, not knowing if you are certainly going back home. Often, veterans are left with nothing once they return home from war. Out of every 10,000 military veterans, 21 are, 21 are homeless. This makes up about 8% of the country's homeless population, and about 11% of veterans suffer from PTSD. These heroic heroes poten are potentially giving up their family, home, and mental health to create a better life for the rest of the country. Whenever you encounter a veteran, remember everything they have had to go through and everything they may have had to give up. These individuals utilize their courage and selflessness to fight for this country, and it is up to the rest of us to offer our support. Make sure that veterans know that we are thankful for them and that they are loved in this country. TAPS is a solemn musical selection performed at flag ceremonies and military funerals, honoring soldiers who have died in service to our country. In recent wars in Iraq and Afghanistan against the forces of evil in our world, five Terrell High School students give the last full measure of devotion to protect our freedom. They are Gerardo Morano, Sean Brady Berry, Jonathan Emmerd, Sean McNabb, and Joseph Lewis. We are honored these heroes as well as all U.S. military servicemen and women at this time. Please stand quietly in reverence of the playing of taps by senior band member Luis Santos, which will be followed by a moment of silence. I also want to thank our Terrell High School students and staff who worked so hard to make this virtual Veterans Day celebration a reality. And I encourage everyone to watch the credits at the end of this broadcast to see the names of everyone who worked on this special project. And finally, I want to assure all of our veterans that this endeavor was a labor of love for all of us. We genuinely thank you for all of your service. <laughs>